beautiful day and this is a view uh, to the Temple Mount um, especially for Mick. Mick asked me uh, to bless a Jerusalem cross for him and to send it to him then um, he asked me to do that at the Temple Mount but sadly the Temple Mount belongs to the Muslims I cannot do that and I decided to stop at the best viewpoint from Mount of Olives that we are now at Mount of Olives looking at the, at Jerusalem and uh, let's talk a little bit about the Temple Mount the Temple Mount was the place that God started to create the world and the foundation stone is just beneath the Dome of the Rock according to the Jews and the Christians actually the Christians later move it to the Church of the Holy Sepulcher but um, so many things happened on top of it. Uh, Abraham was sacrificed by uh, oh, Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac on it. Before that, Abraham, Adam and Eve, when they reached Eden, uh, they, from Eden they actually reached here. And God told the Jews to build his house, which is the Jewish temple, right there. Then in that case, um, the holy of the holy for the Jews is there. There were at least two Jewish temples. The first one was built by King David, uh, sorry, the King David's son, King Solomon, and uh, the second one was built by King Herod. King Herod wanted to impress the world by building big walls around the uh, site of the Temple of Mount Moriah to create a big plaza. On top of it, he could build a massive temple, and the temple was between two to three times higher and bigger. Then, in that case, um, that was the temple that Jesus visited three times here, like every Jew. Um, what you can see there is the Golden Dome, or the Mercy God. If we are talking about Jesus, Jesus enters from at Palm Sunday a procession from there. Today it's a Muslim site. The Muslims believe that Muhammad had a night journey to, from Mecca to Al Aqsa Mosque, which is in uh, English is the last 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 mosque so many believes that he, we are talking about Saudi Arabia and he reached the foundation stone and sent it into heaven met God himself who gave him the five prayers of a day so many things you can see from here city of David is right there outside the walls that where King David and the rest of the king from the dynasty of David actually have been that's where the, their palace was on top of the hill you can see Mount Zion with the Dormition Church, that's where Mary, uh, that was the house of Mary, next to it is the house, um, it's the tomb of King David and the room of the Last Supper. The Jewish quarter is right there and you can see a white dome that is part of uh, it. And tomorrow, Mick, tomorrow I'm taking you to another tour that you ask me. It's going to be from the tomb to the tomb. There are two tombs of Jesus in Jerusalem. There are two places that marks that place. The first one is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Look at the Dome of the Rock. To the right of it, you can see two gray domes. This is the most popular church from the fourth century. 90% of the Christians believe that it actually happened there. And I'm turning right. Can you see the green area there? This is the garden tomb. This is the Church of England and uh, some of the Protestants who knows that Jesus couldn't be buried inside the city. Jews have been buried outside the city. And here it is. It's a good example. We are in the Jewish cemetery of Mount of Olives. This is the biggest cemetery from the time of King David until now. Then in that case, how could it be that he was that the tomb of Jesus, which is there, is in the center of the city? Let me remind you that that city is different than the city that Jesus saw. Um, remember, it's a gap of 2,000 years. And we believe, or so many believe, that the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was outside the walls, just like the Bible mentioned. But in the 19th century, some Christians uh, checked outside the gates, uh, the, the walls of Jerusalem, and found another place that looks exactly like a skull, the Golgotha. And tomorrow, we will start with that.
uh, church, with a, sorry, with a garden, garden tomb, the tomb garden, and then we will walk through the old city um, to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre together with your amazing um, Jerusalem cross. Then see you tomorrow, which will be in about three, two, one.